Well, hey guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. We've been working on this uh, Alice Chalmers WD and uh, you saw a couple videos ago, I pulled the carburetor off and it was just absolutely full of gunk. So since then I've got my carburetor rebuild kit in and uh, tonight we're gonna go through and rebuild this carb and get that thing ready to go back on the tractor. So uh, let me flip my camera around here and we'll have a close view of the carburetor. We'll go through it uh, kind of step by step and where all the parts go and uh, we'll get that thing put together. It's a Marvel uh, TSX 422, I believe. Let me check my number here. Yeah, TSX 422. And uh, we'll go through that rebuild process uh, starting now. Okay, so I got my carb kit. We'll go ahead and get it opened up. And it's very important and it says, I assume it probably says this on most carb kits, but uh, all carb kits are non-refundable if the package has been opened, so double check them. So I've already done that. I've looked in here to make, make sure that uh, it does contain the parts that I need. So I don't have to worry about accidentally opening this thing and not having what I need. There's a nice instruction seat, uh, sheet in there, which is nice. So I'll go ahead and cut this thing open. And we'll get our parts laid out here. And there's several. It's got static on some of this, doesn't want to come out. There we go. All right, so we got all of our parts here. Uh, most of those kits do not include the uh, Venturi. And they don't include the float. So there's my instruction sheet. So that's going to come in handy. Uh, whenever I'm putting this thing back together, I pretty much know where everything goes anyway, but it's going to be nice to have that for a reference. So I'm just going to lay these two off to the side. I'm not going to use those right now. Uh, obviously I've cleaned these both halves up. Um, I guess we'll just start on the on the top side here and uh, I'm going to orient uh, my carburetor top according to what the parts uh, diagram shows and I'll get a picture of that and I'll stick that up there so you guys can see I know it's upside down right now but so we'll just start on the top side put in the idle needle there's a type B and a type A. So I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. Let's get my other parts over here so I can see them. That's gonna help me with my springs. So here's my old parts. This is the needle we're talking about right there. And here's the new one. So I'm gonna look around and get me a spring that is pretty close to matching. And okay, so they're different diameters right there. I bet you that one's gonna be what I need. Yep. Yeah, that's definitely it. Okay, so it's two different diameters. That one is much smaller. So I'll either use it in this kit or it goes on something else and they just have it contained in the kit. Okay, so on my carburetor, that is uh, this hole right here. So I'll go ahead and get it started. I'm not gonna, I see it in there. I'm not gonna tighten that thing down until I get my innards. So there's that. And let's go ahead and put in the shaft and throttle assembly. So here that is. So we'll just take that it's going to slide in but before we do that we got to replace on this side yeah, there's going to be a bushing copper bushing and uh or brass bushing rather one of these yep seal felt number 22. we're going to take one of our brass bushings and they actually it looks like they should turn with the cup out but it's actually uh in Get a 
mallet here and we'll tap that in. There we go. All right, so I got that tapped in. Now we'll be able to take our uh, throttle uh, shaft, make sure I get it oriented correctly. I guess it really doesn't matter until I put the, uh, the throttle valve on it. Push that through like so. Make sure I get this. There's a little piece right there. I wanna make sure I'm Okay, so there's that. So that works. I got the stop back here. We put in a uh, spring and a uh, screw on that to set the adjustment. And number 17 is our throttle valve. All right, so we'll have two of these small screws right here. I'm not gonna tighten those all the way down yet until I move this thing around. I'm just gonna just barely snug them. Yeah, so that fits very nicely. So it's at an angle in there. So that's why it wouldn't fit straight down like a disc, you know, where it's parallel with this surface. So, okay, so we'll go ahead and tighten those up. Let's just go ahead and finish up this uh, lever assembly for the throttle. So we're gonna have a spring and another small screw right here uh, to go in. Start it on there. As far as adjustment goes, I'm not quite sure what we're, where we need to be at. Just as that closes off, we are, we are touching the uh, side here. So as I tighten it down, I'm, I'm starting to see a gap. So I'm back it off. That's too far. Go with that right there. So next, we're gonna have the um, needle for the power adjusting and there's a type b and a type c so i'm actually looking down here and here's what we got um so type a is a fixed jet type b is an adjustable jet which is what i've got actually because i've got it coming right down in the back and then uh type c is the adjustment is on the lower side of the bowl which would be back in this area, which is not the case for me. So I've got uh, the type B, which is what I've got here. And we're gonna have another spring. And then there is also a flat washer and a gasket. So this one says gasket. So I'm gonna go with this right here. Oops, it's a little rubber guy. So we got the spring on there. The flat power adjusting needle washer. And then we got number four, which says gasket. So I'm gonna go with those two items right there. And then this will just fit down in there like that. It sticks out the bottom there, so be careful not to bend it. When we're done with the top side, we'll flip it over. And actually that is gonna be in the way because I'm gonna have the uh, needle seat and gasket assembly here that's going to need this out of the way. So let me just unscrew that dude. Now the needle seat and um, gasket assembly is in a separate package. Right down in here I'll get it started. I'm going to go ahead and get me a larger screwdriver. All right, so we'll take the new needle and it just clips right here. We're just gonna set it down in there. And then we're gonna grab our new pin, slide it through. And they say the adjustment on that, you should be, your float should be parallel with this surface right here. So just glancing at mine, I'm pretty good shape. So I'm gonna leave it just like that. Now we can put our power adjusting needle back in. Okay. Uh, at this point, we're gonna slide this off to the side and then we'll get to work on the bottom bowl. Down in the bottom of this, underneath the uh, main nozzle, is a little bitty uh, jet. All right, so I found me a screwdriver here that'll fit. And 
there it is. It's a little bitty jet. So we got two in the kit. There's several in the kit here, actually. So if I'm looking at it, I gotta make sure I get the right one. It's got that larger head on it. I'm gonna take my uh, air line and clean that out. So I got it lined up in there. I don't know, probably can't see. Snugged it up. Yep, that looks good. So right here's the bottom side. There's gonna be another screw right here on the bottom. That's uh, just a plug and it'll cap this off here. It's gonna be one of these. That one's got a hole in it. So it's gonna be this plug right here. I guess we'll just go ahead and we'll put that one on so that way we don't have to worry about any kind of dirt getting up in there. Uh, right here on the bottom is just your plug for the drain. And this is that. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on. There's not a, a gasket or anything that I see that goes around that. So I'll snug that up here in a bit. But for right now, we'll just leave it there. All right, so we got that. Now we're ready for our main nozzle, which here's the new one. And we're also gonna have a uh, gasket that fits on here. The little red one fits on there nicely. We'll go ahead and we'll slide that main down in there. Looks like it's a 3 eighths. Go ahead and tight, snug that thing up. All right, so we're gonna have our choke assembly, which I've got right here. Take the nut and the washer off. It's gonna come through from this side, right? So let's look and see what we have that goes uh, in behind it to seal it. Well, I'm going to put that on this side. There's nothing that tells me. That's where it is. All right. Slide the choke like so. And then this little uh, bolt right here, there's not a new one in the kit, which doesn't surprise me because there wasn't anything about that in the kit. They supply you the part, but they don't tell you anything about it. So let me clean that up real quick and then we'll stick it in there. All right, we've got that cleaned up. We'll go ahead and put that back in here. And really all that is is just a stop. All right, got that. So it just, all it is is just a stop right there. All right. Yeah, so it's gonna go in just like that. And then it, uh, this will open up and go around that shaft. And then I'll put the screws in it. So that's kind of tricky. So it slides, there's a cut right in the middle there. Slides right down in that. All right, so there's that. We'll go ahead and put our new screws in. If you've got a, a screwdriver that's got a magnetic tip this is a great place to have it all right so we got that now not moves nice and freely so now over here on this side i believe when i took it off and it was closed this piece would angle down like so all right so this venturi like i mentioned earlier does not come in your kit so go ahead and clean it up. And basically it just goes right here. The, uh, there's a, a bigger side and a smaller side. See the big side won't fit. So make sure you get that going the right direction. The smaller side is down. Got our new gasket. Um, so earlier when I 
pre-fit the float. Now I can't get my gasket on, so we'll just have to slide that out. Remember, your needle's gonna come out of there. And we'll just slide the gasket on. Actually, I think right here, I should have another, let me look real quickly. Yeah, so number 15, Jet. Let's get that thing tightened down in there. The gasket back on, and then we're gonna slide that float and your needle valve back in there, and put the pin on it. Now we're gonna put our main adjusting or power adjustment needle. Now one thing I wanna check out here is this Venturi. It needs to go on the, or on the uh, top side first. All right, I believe now we're ready to put the two services back together. So I'm just gonna hold this one and then we'll flip this one over and made them up. Power adjusting needle is gonna fit down in that hole. So I just wanna be real careful when we slide this all together. Don't wanna force anything. So it looked like I was hitting on the pin. Check my old pin. The old pin's a little bit shorter. So let's see here. Yep. All right. So I lined up that power adjusting needle right here down in the bottom. Go ahead and get this back one started. I like to get all these started first before I snug them down. Okay. All right, everything looks good. Everything still opens freely. We'll go ahead and tighten my screws up here. So we've got it reassembled. Uh, we'd like to go ahead and set a few adjustments on it before we put it on the tractor. And it's saying here, special instructions on the sheet, throttle shaft seal and retainer installation. So it goes through that. The uh, throttle valve installation, idler adjusting needle number five. So let's see, where's five? So five is this one right here. And it says turn needle in lightly until seated, then back out one turn. So I'm just gonna turn this and I'll fill it. It says turn lightly, gotta remember the stuff is brass. So we don't wanna mess it up. Okay, right there it's seated, I felt it. And now it says to back it out one full turn. So we'll just flip it around. There's a half a turn and a full turn okay so that's completed power adjusting needle which is this guy that we took in and out three or four times turn needle in lightly until seated then back out one turn so i'm just going to do it by hand okay it's seated right there it got tight and i'm going to use my screwdriver to back it out so i keep track of it so there is a half and there is one all right, so that is done. And it's talking about the gasket here and the float, which we did that. Idle adjustment, engine at operating temperature, choke valve completely open, adjust idle screw until engine runs smoothly, staying on the rich side of the adjustment. So basically that's our first screw that we were so that's gonna be my idle. And then my power back here, it says, engine running at governed speed under load, turn power adjustment needle clockwise until engine begins to lose power, then back out until engine picks up power and runs smoothly. A richer mix may be needed to improve acceleration. All right, so at this point, we've got it pre-adjusted. Um, Everything looks and feels really nice on it. 
uh, I still have the drain plug back here that I did not tighten. So let me uh, just snug that thing up. Should probably get me a socket that fits this guy, but that's snugged. All right, so I think that's it. Um, the tractor is not ready to reinstall this piece yet, um, but I want to go ahead and get it rebuilt and get it ready so when I do set the motor back in and I'll be able to just put this carburetor right back on it and and keep going and not have to take the time out to rebuild it during that stage of the restoration. So there we got it. We got it rebuilt and um, we'll see how it works at some point. Thanks for watching. Hit like and subscribe and Turn on your notification bell so that you'll get notified when new videos are posted. Thanks for watching.